Hey everyone, it's Logan, and today we are here at the Canyon Coaster in Williams, Arizona. Uh, I have already done a couple of Alpine coasters in two cities that are Gatlinburg slash Pitted Forge, kind of that general area, and Branson, Missouri. And we're in basically the opposite side of the country doing this pretty cool looking Alpine coaster. I didn't look up anything about this. I have no idea what the ride does, but we're going to get some video on it to show you what it's like. Pretty excited. Let's hit it. If I'm correct, this will be my 550 bit roller coaster, which is a pretty cool big triple five. It looks pretty cool so far, and I have to expect. Yeah. Climbing up the hill to this thing. It's wild. Still climbing. There's some people going. That little zigzag path right there looks crazy. Look at them go. We just went over the lift hill. About to go down this helix. You know how it is, no brakes. Oh yeah. Wee. Oh God, this path. Woo! Oh dang. <laughs> There's a lot of hats. Look at the view. It's a bunch of nothingness. And boom. Oh, little bunny hop. Aw, that was disappointing. Yeah, it's slowing us down like a lot. Another little swivel. Ah! Here, 80 feet. Love those sounds. Sounds very nice. Dang. <laughs> and we're approaching the brakes. Probably the shortest Alpine coaster I've done, but still pretty nice. Love the jankiness of it. So I didn't even know this till now. There's like this little eating area thing. You can watch the live feedback of people going over the hill. I want to see if I can see any people going over. There's also some live footage of the tubing. That's pretty nice. There they go. Are they slowing down? Maybe they slowed down, I don't know. They're kind of zooming right now though. Whee! So that's the Canyon Coaster off of Route 66. Uh, I already said a little bit of it in the GoPro clip. That was probably the shortest Alpine coaster I've done, but it was still pretty nice. There were a bunch of like, like back to back S turns that like kind of threw you around a little bit, which is always fun. I don't remember there being that much like controlled speed on an Alpine coaster. Maybe it's just cause I haven't done one in forever or that might've just been like the most controlled one I've done. But other than that, I still think it's worth the price and I think it's worth checking out if you're heading through this area. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys later.